In my last heli video, I said that the Mi-24D was the best premium helicopter. That's all about to change. Hello everyone and welcome back to 1.91 News with Bacon where today we're going to be taking a look at our first proper announcement for the British helicopter tech tree in War Thunder. This is of course a dev blog looking at the Lynx AH Mark 1 and Westland Helicopters special demonstrator airframe G Lynx which is going to become the British premium helicopter. So of course this is a utility helicopter developed in the late 60s and it was designed to replace the Westland Scout and the Westland Wasp. These are effectively the same heli, Scout is the army version, the Wasp is the navy version. I would not be surprised if we get one of these as the starter heli or both of them one after the other in tier 5. Of course they say the Lynx will come after that, although there is also a possibility of us receiving the Westland Gazelle, which was a licensed produced version of the Gazelle, of course we've seen that on the French Heli Tree. Getting into the Lynx itself though, this is the AH Mark 1 variant, the first attacker variant of the Lynx. Pros of this are of course superb mobility, the Lynx is well known for being a very quick heli and of course quite agile. Small profile, it is of course fairly small. Extensive ordnance options, we're going to get into that a bit later when we talk about the G Lynx Premium as it has the same options. And cons, lack of protection. Now the lack of protection is interesting because as someone who's played helis a lot, both in Ground RB and of course in Heli EC, I would say protection does not matter. Even if you're in an MI24D, which is supposedly the most heavily protected heli in the game, even a 7.62mm machine gun can take off the whole back of your heli if it hits the right place. Protection, it really isn't a big deal when it comes to helicopters. Now they have said this will be among the top helicopters awaiting pilots in the British heli tree, and considering that the G-Lynx Premium is a tier 6 premium helicopter, well, you know, guys should always say we don't sell premiums in the top tier of a vehicle type. That's why all the premiums so far have been tier 5, but now they come out and do a tier 6 premium. Daijin, are you adding tier 7 helis this update? I think that might be the case. If that's the case, then it could be the Lynx AH Mark 1 is the top tier 6, and then we move down to either the Wildcat or maybe the Augusta Westland Apache, which in actual performance isn't much better than the AH1Z Viper. Now it is worth noting that the premium version, the so-called G Lynx, is actually the heli that set the absolute speed record for helicopters. This is still held today even though it was set many decades ago with a top speed of 249 miles an hour or 400 kilometers per hour in a straight line over a so many mile long course. I can't exactly remember off the top of my head. This, the G Lynx was not a combat helicopter. It was a specially modified AH-1 Lynx prototype which had been modified by Westland Helicopters as a demonstrator. The actual thing did not carry weapons while in its exact record-breaking configuration, although in theory it could, so that's probably why they've done it as this as the premium. Now, the one in the game is just the standard AH Mark 1, bit slower than G-Lynx, but it has the same weapons. Gaijin in the dev blog do go on to have a fairly large paragraph talking about protection, but again, I really don't feel protection is a big problem when it comes to helis. They also talk about the performance, you have cannon pods, unguided rockets, ATGMs, and Stinger air-to-air -air missiles. Good stuff there, we're going to talk about them in a short while. Gaijin then go on to say something that I agree with, which is that aspiring pilots in this machine will be hard pressed to find themselves in a situation that this heli cannot deal with, and I agree with that. If you take the right weapon types, you will have no issue killing tanks, aircraft, helis, really no issues there, and as someone who plays heli EC mostly, I can say this is going to be a damn good heli. So we have the AH Mark 1 as one of the tech tree helis. What is this premium? Well, this is the G-Lynx. It's effectively just an AH Mark 1, just quite a bit faster. So, obviously, this is a Westland Lynx AH-1 prototype, which was then modified by Westland Aircraft to be a demonstrator of new, new rotor blades, new engines, and it was quite quick, and then it set a world record. And, you know, it set the world record, and I believe it was in 1978 that it did this, and it's, you know, it's pretty interesting. It's a tier 6 premium, and as I said, that does mean maybe tier 7 helis this update, which could, of course, mean for Britain, the Augusta Westland Apache. For other nations, maybe the Eurocopter Tiger, the Mi-28, those sort of things. Now, I did, of course, say when we talk about G-Lynx, I'm going to look into the armament. It's got some interesting stuff. First off, 20mm Cad B cannon pods. 
So 20 millimeter cannons, that's good. What else have we got? Well, 70 millimeter rockets, these are Hydra 70s, although as far as I know, in real life, it carried a different type of rockets that I did look at in yesterday's video. I will put up a picture of them on the screen now. Uh, you could also have eight tow ATGMs. These are tow two ATGMs. I believe they're the same as the Bell 105, although do correct me if I am wrong there. Bell 105 CB2, at least it's got the same tow ATGM pods, and they're mounted in the same amount and the same configuration as the Bill 105. It can also carry Hellfires. Yeah, first premium heli to have Hellfires, AGM-114 Hellfires. Carry them on the outer pylons. This has inner and outer pylons, by the way. By the looks of the video that they have for g links, this can carry the four homing air-to-air -air missiles, the AGM, sorry, the AIM-92 Stingers. Carry four of them, also carry ATGMs or Hellfires. So... Yeah, it's pretty good. You can you can go 320 kilometers per hour in level flight. And of course, in Heli EC, it's an arcade game mode, you can go quite a bit quicker than that. So effectively, this premium Heli, tier 6 Heli, you're going to get a lot of RP from that. You will be able to, in, in Heli EC, for example, the, the Heli mode I play the most, you'll be able to outrun everything, probably have more weapons than most things. You have same amount of air-to-air -air missiles as the Gazelle. And you can also carry eight either t uh, Hellfires or Toe ATGMs. Yeah, this is yeah, this is worrying. Um, luckily for me, I've pre-ordered it already, and I'm going to be flying it, so it's not really an issue for me. But for anyone else playing EC, um, well, I would say run away, but it will catch you. So, um, GG, I guess. I would say that more or less sums it up, though. I would say the g Links is definitely the best premium heli to get if you're just looking to have some fun. It's effectively... Like, the, the, the heli that I previously thought was the best was the MI-24D. This is like that, but smaller, more maneuverable, faster, better weapons, and in, in some cases more weapons. That carried four, that carried four ATGMs. This carries four air-to-air -air missiles, and then eight ATGMs at the same time. So this is gonna, this is gonna club pretty damn hard. Firstly, thank you, Gaijin, for adding a British thing that, obviously you've not tested it yet, but it looks pretty obvious that this is a British thing that will club very much in heli EC, so thank you for that. I love the Gazelle. That is a fast heli with air-to-air -air missiles. They've given me now a faster heli with more air to with with the same amount of air-to-air -air missiles, but they're better and some ATGMs. So I'm just I'm really hyped for this actually. This is going to be good. Um, obviously the pack costs forty nine ninety nine euros. It comes with two thousand golden eagles, fifteen days premium. If you pre-order, you get the Lynx decal and the Silver Cat title, and of course G Lynx Tier Six British Premium Heli. I think that's good value, but also if you want to get the Shot Cal delay as well, you can get 30% off in a bundle pack, and if you already own the Shot Cal, you can get the G-Links on 30% off. So, pretty good stuff there. G-Links, definitely the best premium heli, of course, when the dev server goes up. I feel like this is going to be the first thing I'm going to be looking at, unless Gaijin somehow add something that I am more excited about, which I do doubt will happen. The Lynx AH-1 seems to be just a slightly slower G-Links, but with the exact same, it's the same thing, just a bit slower. So, yeah, if that's the top heli, it, it'll be kind of funny that they have the G-Link. So, though, since we now have a Tier 6 Premium heli, I'm making the assumption that they might add Tier 7 helis this update. In which case, look out for either the Wildcat, which is effectively a Lynx, but even better, or the Augusta Westland Apache, or both. You never know. But still, British helis confirmed. The Lynx, beautiful heli. G-Link, beautiful and fast as hell. So, I am excited for this. Anyway... Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Feel, give, really do give G-Links a look. If you're considering buying just a premium heli, that's the one to go for. If you want to get British helis, well, I feel like there is a chance that could be the best British heli, at least at initial release. So certainly do give it a look. Feel free to discuss in the comments what you think, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.